Alright, I'll stop. Hello everyone, it's me, Nintendo LPRZ Dude. And we're here with the next episode of my Let's Play of... Pokemon Crystal Version. In the last episode, we made our way to Azalea City and, um... Took care of Team Rocket in this town. And now, uh, here we are again! Here we are! We're about to fight the gym, or at least try to take it on. So here we have a white Apricorn. And before we do so, I actually want to showcase what these do. So you can bring a half a corn, so there are different types, to him. And he'll make various different Pokeballs. Um, he's already made some lore balls. I didn't give him many Apricorns. He just gives you those after you defeat Team Rocket with him. Um, so, yeah. You can give him um, an Apricorn. It'll take him 24 hours of real world time. So tomorrow he should have that done. So let's enter. Here we have a bug type gym. So let me uh, rearrange my team a bit. Let's just rock it again. Tackle, screech, bind. Hmm. Yeah, I'll be better off going with Pidgey, but I should train my Rocky and my Chikorita as well. So, uh, yeah, you know what? We're gonna go like this. Hi, are you challenging the leader? No way! All right, here we go. Fighting the twins, Emmy and May. All right, here we go. So now I'll switch to Pidgey. Pidgey's speed hard, uh, sharply fell, all right. Another scary face attack. Alrighty then. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Alright, she's about to send out Ladybug. So let's switch again, but this time to Summer. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Alright. Let's go with Pidgey again. Gust. And this battle's over. Amy and May were defeated. Oh, double goodness. And there's no way to avoid that, trainer, so let's fight him too. Bug Pokemon are cool and tough. I'll prove it to you. Alright! So let's go ahead like this and continue on our momentum. And he sends out a Caterpie. <laughs> Isn't it adorable how he thinks he can take on my Pokemon with just a little Caterpillar? Guess what? To quote Misty from Indigo League. Flying Pokemon eat bug Pokemon, you dingus. Okay, with some of the bug Pokemon out there these days, I, I really don't think that's honestly true half the time. <laughs> Maybe it's more true in the Indigo League, but... Uh... Not these days. Not these days. I mean, I honestly doubt a Pidgey or even a Pidgeot could eat a, um, Garvantula, I'll say that much. Hoogly. Some of the bug Pokemon out there are massive, too big for a bird Pokemon to even think about eating. I mean, a Caterpie and a Weedle? Sure, I could imagine that. But personally, um, a Garvantula? Nah. Speaking of which, someone should create a video, make a video, or someone should tell Matt Pat that uh, he should make a uh, whole um, food web or food tree or whatever you want to call it on Pokemon, where it's like, what Pokemon eats, what, what Pokemon would logically eat another Pokemon? Like, Pidgeys would eat Caterpies, I think that's, we all know that, but what Pokemon would, um, eat garbantulas and whatnot because some Pokemon seem like they'd have no natural predators and whatnot so um yeah 
bug Pokemon evolve young, so they get stronger that much faster. Thanks for the random bits of trivia, you dweebs. <laughs> Benny, and he sends out Weedle. Oh, and see him get squashed by my Pidgey now. This battle is skippable, so I'm not going to show the full thing. And I just messed up there. I don't get poisoned. Well, I'm pretty sure I have an antidote. There we go. Jesus, don't they know how to evolve their Pokemon right now? Oh, Rocky Guerrero level 13. Not bad. And he's about to send out Kakuna. All right, I think we're fighting one person in this whole gym that knows about evolution. Come on now. Harden. I couldn't do you much good right now, by the way. And Kakuna goes down. And he's about to send out B Drill. Alright, let's go back to summer. Attack of oh, great. Hit two times, alright. Let's go with Gust. And it's a one hit KO, wow. Not bad. Summer grew to level 13, and Pidgey grows to level 15, alright. Pidgey learned Quick Attack, not bad. And Benny was defeated. Just evolving isn't enough. Nope. Alright, so let's go here. You saved all the slowpoke? Whew, you're mighty. But my grown-up Pokemon are pretty tough, too. Well, if that's the case, why didn't you go help Kurt with his with Team Rocket? Jesus Christ. What a hypocrite. I bet I could easily take you out. No, 13 Paris. Alright. Let's go with Pidgey here. Paris used Scratch, and here we go with Gust. And there we go. We win. That's all the trainers in this gym, so I'll go ahead, heal, and I'll see you in front of the gym leader, alright? I'm back. Here we are. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on bug Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. And here we are, we're taking on Bugsy, the bug Pokemon master of the second generation. All right, and heal, yes, heal, male pronouns, heal, start out with a Metapod. I'm sorry, but many people think he's a she. It's hilarious. I mean, I think, I think we could all agree that Nintendo, that Game Freak could easily play off Bugsy as being the first trans male <laughs> gym leader in Pokemon. It's like behind everyone's back, they were sowing the seeds for the transgender agenda. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, whatever. And his Metapod knows Tackle. Yes, Tackle. He's not a dunce. So there we go, and he sent... He's Metapod's down, he's about to send out Scyther. So for this one instance, I'm not going to switch out of my Pokemon. Bug Flying type. If your Onyx knew any rock type attacks, this would have been the time to use it. Being as it has a quad weakness of bug type attacks, but at this point he'll use a Fury Cutter, which will get strong with more the higher succession it's used in. And the more direct 
well, the more the, uh, successive hits it makes. It's not exactly like one of those attacks that continuously hits all the time and it auto sucks the attack once you choose it, but... Surprise, he didn't heal up right now, huh? Oh well, this fight will be easier than I expected then. Scyther's down. The remakes, Art Gold and Soul Silver, that Scyther will be would be his starting Pokemon in this fight. Pidgey grows level 16, by the way, and uh, it will be a lot tougher. But here we go with Kakuna, the final Pokemon of the bunch. Let's go with Gust. Ah, uh, he's using Harden. Poison Sting. Gust and we win. There we go. Pidgey grew to level 17. Our Pidgey's like over leveled at this point. And we win. Bugsy was defeated. Wah! Amazing! You're an expert on Pokemon. My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win. Take this badge. And we received the Hive Badge from Bugsy. Do you know the benefits of Hive Badge? If you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you, even though even traded ones. Pokemon that know Cut will be able to use it outside of battle too. Here, I also want you to have this. And we received TM49, which contains Fury Cutter. And as I said before, it... Uh, if you don't miss, it gets stronger every turn. The longer your battle goes, the better it gets. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'm back. <gasps> I apologize, okay? It's not great. I discovered it. Alright, so with that done, I'm going to go heal up, and I'll see you guys in a moment, alright? Okay, I'm back, and here we go. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Ha! <laughs> Quit lying! You're not joking? Then let's see how good you are. Alright, here we are against our rival. To be honest, I forget what I named him. I think Silver? Yes. Alright, so he'll start out with a Ghastly. So, our Onyx can't do crap, so, uh... Let's go into Pidgey right now. <laughs> Doesn't affect Pidgey. Good. Alright, so it's probably gonna use Spite or something. Yeah, just as I thought. Spite is a terrible attack. It reduces the PP by the amount you saw, so it reduces it by 3. That's why it has 31 instead of 34 now. And Ghastly goes down. Ghastly is down and out. And he's about to send out Zubat. I'm trying to think, I should switch out though to Rocky. Zubat's level 14. Switch back to Pidgey then. Alright, here we go. Gust attack. And yes, our Pidgey is one level away from evolving. I'll just put that out there. Supersonic, great. Good God. Switch over to Summer. Let's see now. Let's use Reflect. Over to Pidgey now. Missed. Let's go with Gust. Gust attack. And Zubat's down for the count. Yes. Rocky grew to level 14. Rocky learned Rock Throw, not bad. Which will only make the next Pokemon a lot easier, Kilava. So let's switch over to Rocky because his Rock Throw ne will now make easy work of this Pokemon. Finally, Rocky's 
Oh, whoops. <laughs> I got lucky there. I accidentally selected tackle, so uh, I meant to use rock throw. Ember! Alright! And here we go with rock throw. And not as much as I thought, but decent. Decent for uh, two levels below, actually, so. I'm complaining, but still. Shouldn't he have items that he should be using? I mean, I thought he had at least super potions, maybe just normal potions, but no. And his Kia Lava's down, act down right now. Good. Level 15! Silver was defeated. <laughs> Useless Pokemon. Listen, you. You only won because my Pokemon were weak. I hate the weak Pokemon trainers. It doesn't matter who or what. I'm going to what? Uh, I'm going to be strong and wipe out the weak. That goes for Team Rocket too. They act big and tough in a group, but get them alone and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. A weakling like you is only a distraction. Oh, our mom's calling us. Hi, Natsumi. How are you? I found a useful item shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry. It's in your PC. You'll like it. Uh, alright. I was going to heal up anyways, but we might as well take that opportunity to see what our mother got us. Because uh, one thing I neglected to say is that she will, uh, if you let her hold on to your money, she will oftentimes give you our purchase items for you using the money you've sent her. So it's oftentimes smart and rarely touch it at all, but use her as a backup in case, you know, you really do run out of money, so you can easily go back to your hometown and withdraw money from her. She's like a bank account in this game, so. You know, although I would recommend you wait till you have Fly, which you won't have till much later in the game, by the way. So, um, hmm. I think we can do one more thing. Let's squeeze one more thing into this, alright? The forest is watched over by its protector. Stay out of mischief. All right. Here we are at the Ilex Forest. All right, here we go. Oh, man. My bus is going to be steaming. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. The far fetch that cuts trees. Oh, jeez. For car charcoal took off of me. Oh, jeez, man. I can't go looking for it here in the forest. Oh, jeez. Too big, dark, and scary for me. Oh, jeez, man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, God. I love it. It's the missing Pokemon. Farfetch. <laughs> hey, don't you fly off on me, you little weasel. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, jeez. Not really. Aw, oh, jeez! They keep running into Pokemon, Rick! Aw, oh, jeez! Wow, that is a whole bunch. Oh, jeez. My boss is Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. Oh, jeez, man. <laughs> oh, my Farfetch. You found it for us, kid. Without it, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? I know, here, take this. And we receive HMO1 cut. Alright, so there we go. Cut HM of Pokemon to clear small trees, of course. 
Yep, which we have already. So, I think that'll do it for this episode. I'll go ahead and, um... You know what? Right now, we're... We're actually take care of a little something. One last thing in Azalea Town before we, uh, officially head out, because I'm actually going to do... A little something unorthodox off-screen, but here we go. You chased off Team Rocket and went to Ilex Forest alone? That takes guts. I like that. Come train with us. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot to thank you. This is a charcoal that I made. Oh, jeez. Fire-type Pokemon would be happy to hold that. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so we get some charcoal. You could actually buy charcoal at the uh, mart in this town. So, um, which if you go up this way, here it is. And, yeah, it's just like other Pokemon, it uh, carries some some of the same items. Uh, repels are actually the first time you can per. This is the first time you can actually purchase Repels. Uh, so, I per so I'm going to purchase some of those, and I'm going to purchase three Super Po- Oh, I don't have enough. Alright, whatever. <laughs> ah, well, that should do it for now, then. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys then. In the next episode, we will be heading into, um... We will be heading into Ilex Forest and making our way to the next town, alright? So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. This has been Nintendo LPRZ Dude, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.